Safety, health, ergonomics and work conditions are a priority for Renault. Within the framework of the electric vehicle project, standards have been defined. They apply to all professions, every country and all electric vehicle projects. Technical Note 6037A is the technical note to refer to in order to outline all the activities related to electric vehicles in a dealership, whether they involve an after-sales technician, a person involved in the handover, or a superior. Different zones of operation or vehicle access are defined. They each require an appropriate level of authorization, also called accreditation, and corresponding training, regardless of the employee and activity concerned. The red zone. This is the internal zone of the traction battery. Any operation in this zone is prohibited in the Renault network. The orange zone. This is the entire powertrain and components supplied by the energy of the 400 volt traction battery. Only colleagues with level 1 accreditation can perform the lockout procedure for the power circuit and traction battery. In addition, they must be trained to perform the operations in this zone. Operations on these components are strictly prohibited under voltage. The blue zone. This is the whole vehicle excluding the two previously described zones. This concerns all employees in the dealership in any field of activity. Any employee working in this blue zone must be authorised by their employer and trained in the dealership under the authority of the superior in charge using suitable training aids. To date, the trainees' aids are principally composed of the interactive training module EV for All, and a film on locking out the 14-volt service network. After undergoing this blue zone training and the training on workstation safety if necessary, the electric vehicle non-specialist technician is level zero accredited and therefore authorized to perform a number of operations, such as moving the electric vehicle, using the CLIP electronic diagnostic tool if they have the required competency to do so, charging an electric vehicle, working on the vehicle when the 400 volt electrical circuit is locked out, apart from the specialist operations listed in the repair methods. Regardless of the operation to be performed, it's compulsory to consult and follow the recommendations in the repair methods because the methods indicate the level of competency necessary for any operation on electric vehicles. In summary, as soon as an electric vehicle enters a Renault dealership, any employee of the dealership who comes into contact with the vehicle, even if it does not present any faults, must be authorised to use this electric vehicle or work on it and must follow one of the relevant training courses. The employer must check that their employees have the necessary training for their safety because this is entirely their responsibility. We've talked about lockout. But what is this exactly? Well, locking out or securing the electric vehicle consists of switching off the voltage and securing the operation zone in order to make it safe and to protect the persons working on the vehicle.
For example, locking out the power circuit and 400 volt traction battery consists of separating the 400 volt battery from the circuit in order to facilitate operations on or near the components of the 400 volt network. This lockout requires accreditation and specific training such as that received by the electric vehicle specialist. Locking out the 14 volt network involves the service battery which is disconnected by following the step-by-step -step recommended method. On an electric vehicle, this task can be performed by any person who has undergone the Blue Zone training and has the corresponding authorization level. The special features of mechanical and bodywork maintenance of Fluent ZE and Kangoo ZE are the field of expertise of the specialists trained on these topics at the training center. Therefore, we will not cover them in this film. The electric vehicle specialist must be consulted for anything concerning mechanical and electricity-related maintenance in the dealership. Any operation on a vehicle being charged is prohibited. It is prohibited to wash the electric motor compartment of an electric vehicle because there is a risk of electrification or even electrocution. For the same reasons, it's prohibited to wash an electric vehicle after a fault or an accident which may have exposed the powertrain components. The maintenance program of the ZE range is based on the maintenance program familiar to the Renault range. However, it incorporates some specificities which require the clip tool to be used and special maintenance features of Fluent ZE and Kangoo ZE to be known. For example, replacing the filter of the battery cooling system on Fluent ZE or checking the brake vacuum pump with the clip tool. When the vehicle enters the workshop, it's advisable to ask the customer if they would like their battery to be fully recharged when the vehicle is returned to them. In addition to the manufacturer's guarantee, which is known and related to each country, the ZE range benefits from a 5-year or 60,000 miles, that's 100,000 kilometers, electric motor and transmission assembly guarantee. The mechanical and bodywork maintenance of Fluent ZE and Kangoo ZE requires a set of special tools which are largely dedicated to the components of the 400 volt network, such as the battery removal table, personal protective equipment or an insulation tester. The vehicle is lifted in the workshop using the same lifting points as the internal combustion engine version. It is important never to position the lifting points under the traction battery or the power voltage cable routing. It's advisable to scrupulously follow the recommendations related to towing the vehicle. Therefore, an electric vehicle that has been involved in even a slight accident must always be transported on a platform. Now let's look at some specific information relating to the bodywork. Even though they do not have the competencies of the electric vehicle specialist, the bodywork technician trained in the training center on how to perform bodywork maintenance operations on the ZE range is still accredited to lock out the 400 volt network of Fluent ZE or Kangoo ZE. In addition, this ZE trained bodywork technician must be consulted for anything relating to bodywork repair in the dealership. Repairing the bodywork, gauging, or positioning Fluent ZE or Kangoo ZE on the body jig bench use the same Renault bodywork repair methods and associated tools.
However, there are a few special instructions, such as removing the front wings of Fluent ZE, which requires the 12 volt battery to be locked out due to the presence of the charging sockets. The 400 volt power battery must be locked out before any weld work is performed. There are no special instructions for using a spray booth. We remind you that operations relating to components of the 400 volt network, such as removing the battery, removing and performing operations on the components of the electric motor and transmission assembly, operations on the high voltage wiring harnesses, must be performed exclusively by an electric vehicle specialist who's accredited and trained to do so. Remember also that any internal operations on the 400 volt battery are strictly prohibited in the Renault network. In summary, the need to lock out or not lock out the 14 volt network or 400 volt network according to the operation type is mentioned in the repair methods. These repair methods also give information about the qualification level of the technician according to the operation to be performed. It's therefore always advisable to consult them before any operation, whether it be mechanical or bodywork related.